Really? I don't <laughs> understand this. And the afternoon came and he just disappeared. And Lisa said, I, where's Daddy? I said, I don't want to know, thank you very much, and all this business. And then she said, Mummy, come to the window quick, look. There's a car coming in the forecourt, and it's a car that I've wanted for a couple of years. Oh, and I dreamed love about it. And, the, and Terry got out. And I, I said, you that. horrible thing. Because <laughs> he didn't tell me. Yes, you know, I was... I'm a, that's, that's all right. Yeah, that's that's all a surprise. Well, I called on my mother unexpectedly not long ago up in Anglia. You know, she doesn't expect to see me all the way from London. And uh, I couldn't ring her, otherwise I wouldn't have called unexpectedly. And she opened the door and said, Oh, she said, for one moment I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yes. yes, yes, so she was. I said, would you rather I've told you? She said, no, well, no, it's so wonderful. Yes. Yes. And you can't when, be sure. When we went to see her, mm. she desperately wanted us to telephone first. She yes. probably Yes, I think she liked to know. anticipate. Mm. She wanted mm. to get busy and make things, like sandwiches <laughs> yes. and cakes and things mm. like yeah. that. And the kind of surprise I can well do without, actually, is a little billet do from the Inland Revenue. Oh, right. man, I, I get from time oh, to time. Horrible. <laughs> and it's always a surprise. That's send, the thing. Send them back unknown at this address. That's best way. Actually, I've got an awful feeling it's Charlotte's birthday in a fortnight's time, and I've got an awful feeling that Justin might surprise her with a dog. Oh, oh. dear. And I, I don't know what's going to happen. Have you been consulted? Be a, well, he has sort of occasionally spoken yes. about it, but I know that Harry's dead against him bringing well, him. Well, I hope he doesn't. Quite honestly, you want to have a good yes. talk to him and ask him, yeah. is he going to, mm. and sort mm. it out beforehand. It's not yes, something you know. give lightly as a surprise. Those no sort yes. of surprises no, no. are not good. No. I, I love the surprises that I plan for other people. I mean, not, I'm not in a practical way at all, um, but last Christmas I planned an absolutely super treasure hunt that was all outside and things hidden in the garden and clues that were terribly oh, clever you, yes. <laughs> everywhere. Of well, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> yes. But of course they were all late arriving as usual. It was too dark to play it when they got there. So they were armed with torches and after an hour half of them were crying because they couldn't find the next clue. I was the only person who enjoyed it. <laughs> well, that's what I said earlier, you see. It's more yes. fun to arrange it all. Oh, no, I love surprises. I really do. I mean, pleasant surprises. Mm. Lovely. Yes. I feel very, very flattered if somebody's bothered to surprise me. It is me. nice, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. I do. I have got a present for Jamila. Have you? Yes, that I bought in France last May for her new bedroom when you uh, all move. Mm. Oh. And every time I say Jamila, I say, I've got a surprise for you the day you move oh, for your child. new bedroom. She's <laughs> bald stiff with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a little bit like Leanne because I'm hopeless at keeping a surprise a secret and I have to keep hinting like that. It's you know? <laughs> yeah. part of the fun. Like the subtle hints. Yes, yeah, it's just part of by the fun. By the time it arrives, they're, they're bored with it. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. time I go home and I've been down here for tea, I always hope there's some little surprise through the door. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't mind what it is. Hope springs eternal, does oh, it? Yes, it always. always. You know, you yes. come in and think, I wonder what's on the door, Matt. <laughs> yes. Something nice. Yes. Something in the, in, the, in the village, we have a community council thing and every month there's a draw and the prize mm. is a pound. So many people in the village win a pound note. The most wonderful thing is to open the front door on Friday night and see a pound note yes. on the doormat. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Mm. Very nice. We don't Cash. have that in our village. No tax. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely. I plan what I'm going to spend I it on. I wonder how people feel who, who really do win something gigantic. I mean, at one time you oh, yeah. you won a car. Didn't yes, you? I, how went, did you I went berserk. It? <laughs> well, I went totally berserk. I won it at a time when nobody had cars very much, and and uh, it was. It was unbelievable, that's all I can say. But like Anne, I mean, even if it's a small amount, I can remember winning £25 on the on one of these charity football mm. things. And it felt like a thousand yes, pounds. It, does, it was it? wonderful. You, yes, you win something. That's, that, that's exciting. I think the nicer surprises are um, when you're expecting something, if you're expecting your children to do very badly, so for example, and they come home with a report. I think. Enjoy a few moments on Southern, we continue our programmes with The Anatomy of a Seduction. First, there was water. Then, there was fire. Then, PG Tips created an even better cup of tea. They've searched the universe for a better blend for their tea bags. And the bags themselves have been specially designed to let all the flavor of the new blend flow through. PG Tips' new Flavor Flow tea bag.